Well, welcome to the Econs Lab. We, we study a variety of diseases, osteopetrosis, uh, which is a genetic disease, phosphate disorders, uh, most of which are genetic, and the common disease, osteoporosis, which has genetic components, but also has environmental components. I think w one of the fun things about working in rare diseases, and for example, in osteopetrosis, there are about three groups in the world working on this disease, and we're by far the largest, and we're the only group in the world that studies uh, all aspects, from cell culture to animal models to human disease. And I think what's really cool about that is, is, is that you get the opportunity to really make a difference in a select group of pe uh, patients, and one lab can make the difference between having a therapy and not having a therapy. And, and we've experienced this that in, my, in my, some of my earlier studies. I've been around long enough now to have the privilege of seeing some of our work actually make a big difference for patients. And the opportunity to do that again is really, to me, um, very exciting. And it's the reason why I enjoy getting up and coming to work every day. So about eight years ago, we developed a mouse that has osteopetrosis, which is a disease where the bone is too dense. And when the bone is too dense, it becomes very fragile, very rigid, and it can fracture and it doesn't heal well. So we developed a mouse that has a malformation in the CLCN7 gene, which causes osteopetrosis. And we can then treat that mouse and see if we can reduce its bone density. And then if that happens, we can put that into humans. Osteopetrosis is a, um, is a condition that is hereditary and um, it affects a specific kind of bone cell called an osteoclast. So um, I do cell culture in the lab, so I can isolate osteoclasts from bone marrow um, or now from patient blood. And um, I can grow those cells specifically and then we can test um, for various conditions and various drugs and different doses of drugs. And that way we have a very simplified system in which we can answer questions and then be able to move forward from there. That's specific to this condition and specific to our patients so that hopefully we can find a cure. We see uh, a lot of various um not only individuals, but also their families, um, some of which know that they are affected, um, meaning that you know they have had fractures, they haven't been able to heal as well, or they're super new to this condition. So a lot of it has been a lot of learning and, and um, learning about osteopetrosis, um, or they've, they've experienced kind of it all. They've had a lot of, like I mentioned, fractures, but also a lot of dental issues. Um, it can lead to blindness as well. Um, so, you know, it is such a spectrum in terms of who I meet and how, you know, how much they've experienced um, and, and the side effects in terms of this condition. The goal for this study is to really help, I think, provide answers, hopefully, um, and to better understand, like I said, the progression of this disease. And like I mentioned that there is no cure at this moment or an effective treatment. So, you know, with, with the help of the Scottish Rite Foundation, we are really hoping that it'll help us serve pathways uh, to find solutions, to find treatments and to find a cure. And we really aim, aim to do that with, with our group. We get funding from the National Institutes of Health, but the Scottish Rite uh, funding has enabled us to do things we couldn't otherwise do. It's enabled us to start projects and indeed, I was recruited here with uh, some funds from the Scottish Rite. It paid for to out outfit my lab initially. We continue to use funding from the Scottish Rite to not only buy new equipment, but we hired an extra technician uh, to, to give us uh, to, to give us the ability to to do much faster work. 
It enables us to, to, seed, to provide seed money for projects where we think we have an idea, we need to see if it works, and it gives us preliminary data to then go after um, National Institutes of Health funding. So it's been a tremendous help over the years, and I always say to the folks in the lab, when you go past the Scottish Rite building, just remember that uh, these folks have supported us for over 50 years, obviously before I got here. Uh, and that's been, uh, we, we, we thank you very much for it.